M P K Hobby R C. Natural for humans under the age of fourteen. Hey guys, I'm M P K, and this is my R C hobby. So it's been a while, but uh, yeah, I've been a little busy. We had quite a lot of snow damage this year, so my road really took the hit. All of this had fallen down, so the last time I was up here I uh, reinforced it with uh, concrete or cement. And I've just finished doing this part here. Let's see how that comes. I think I'm going to name this corner Queen's Corner after this chess piece. I also have some uh, plants growing through my road, so uh, I'm going to have to do some sort of barriers there. So this is the bit I'm thinking about right now, what to do. Uh, I wanted to really take away this wooden thing here and uh, replace it with concrete. The question is, do I do like a diagonal up to that pillar there? Or do I do steps like it is now? Hmm. I'd like to do a diagonal, be easier. Less concrete as well, probably. We'll see. This area here is uh, also starting to come down here, you see. There's where the uh, chicken wire was, or is. So I was thinking maybe just cover here with more chicken wire and get some stakes in the ground. I don't know yet about trying to do this bit. It's quite a steep bit here. That would be a lot of concrete. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure yet what to do. I might continue this along here and just fill it up with like pebbles and stuff. I have like little cinder blocks in there that didn't come out so good. And yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about all this along the edges here, the concrete or the dirt has started to uh, come away. Obviously the uh, the snow from the road fell down to here, and when it melted, it melted everything away. Or it it was pretty muddy. And these like little guys that I planted to do some camouflaging, well, this guy needs replanting. But uh, I think these guys are pretty good. And then the flat bit. So here I'm trying to trying to still trying to flatten this out. But um, yeah, I'm thinking about making like a, a rock crawling garden here, but I don't have many rocks. So I made these molds out of silicon. And basically, just fill them up with uh, cement, put a little bit of chicken wire in there, and then I got some rocks. Got two different sizes. I'm just gonna, yeah, slowly do it. What else? Yeah, I think that's enough to show you. Oh yeah, so basically, so this uh, wall that I put up last year quickly is not good, as you can tell. So, what I'm planning to do is I brought my excavator. So, thinking, dig a trench till here and like put some stakes in, chicken wire and cement it up. And then that'll give me a nice like solid wall at the, to hold all the dirt so that I can fix this wall here. So maybe you'll see a video of me doing some RCing today. <laughs>
Oh no.
So I'm happy with that trench. It's not that deep, but uh, and it's not that far. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm gonna do the rest by hand, just to speed things up a bit. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with the way this wall came out. Um, I had a little bit of a some spillage going on there, so the alignment went off, but I don't think that's that bad. <clears throat> I obviously need to now fill this in, some gravel, and then probably a little bit more concrete. <sighs> this thing's disturbing me, but I don't know what to do with it yet, but we'll see. Queen's Corner is looking all right. Uh, there's gonna need a lot more. I gotta basically I raised this bit here and all along here so that I can re re concrete. I want to build a um, a vibratory roller out of one of my old uh, toy grade RCs construction RCs. So. I'm gonna try and do this properly. So I've raised the borders, well on this side at least. And yeah, maybe I can do some proper construction. <laughs> so this is my trommel. At the moment it's uh, not functioning. The, uh, the speed controller, um, blue. I uh, basically put the wiring badly and it, it like shorted. And now it doesn't work, but I've ordered new ones. It's on its way, or they are on their way. So when that's done, I'll put it in. But yeah, this is the ideal spot that I wanted. But as you can see, I really need it to be a lot further back and deeper because that's still quite high up. Um, I'm obviously gonna have to build a road in here to fill it up put an excavator or loader or whatever. Um, so my main uh, problem at the moment is I'm going to need to do that, to put that in here. I'm really going to need to like shore this up somehow, retain it somehow. Um, anybody have any ideas? It's quite loose material. It's basically just like dumped after they built this construction back into here. So it's been dry the whole time. I really need to maybe just make a one wall here, but question is, the thing is when I dig down, obviously more rubble just falls down again. Any ideas guys? Your help would be much appreciated. <laughs> so for lack of a better thing to do, I'm trying an experiment. I don't know if it's gonna work, but uh, it's what they do in Hong Kong. <laughs> I saw one. Uh, obviously, I didn't finish it. This is all the cement I have left, so I'm just gonna leave that. Come back and continue. I think do again some more until that line there. And then there, I'll make a wall going down like a sort of L or maybe even like a U like that. And then this guy, I'll just put it in there whenever I want to use it. And this is uh, basically the start of a road, or where a road should be, to be able to drop the stuff into the hopper. But yeah, I think that's uh, long enough for one video. Uh, basically did a lot of filling in there. And still trying to make this thing flat and yeah <laughs> it's coming along but yeah as always if you made it this far thanks and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one cool